Hello and welcome to part 9 of my look at Mega Man Anniversary Collection. In this final installment, I'm going to be taking a look at the two arcade games and giving my final impressions on Mega Man Anniversary Collection for PS2. So the first arcade game was released in 1995, um, or not, maybe it was 96, so somewhere around then. Um, it was called Mega Man The Power Battle. And the game, it did get a localization, and the localization is kind of obscure. So how do you make a Mega Man arcade game? Well, essentially what you do is you have, you know, Mega Man boss fights the game. So here it is, Mega Man the Power Battle. So three playable characters, Mega Man, Proto Man, and Base. They all play pretty similar, but uh, I'm going to play as Proto Man here. Then you can choose the robot masters you want to fight, from 1 and 2, 3 to 6, or 7. I'm going to go, I don't know, 3 to 6, because that's my favorite era. So we're fighting Gyro Man. So your idea here is just shoot at the boss until you defeat him. As you progress, the bosses get more and more difficult with larger health bars. But you gain new weapons from fighting each boss. And then you can use those weapons on other bosses. I think this is Plant Man. Power Battle can also be played multiplayer, which is a whole lot of fun. You know, you two two players against the bosses. You know, it's not a versus game, player versus player. It's co-op. Hey, pom bomb.
I, I gotta admit that this is one of the coolest elements of Mega Man Anniversary Collection as the arcade games were never released on any platform other than the arcade original. Okay, I got Magnet Missile. Gemini Man. Choose, I don't know, base now. Okay, there's Gemini Laser. Last robot. Dust Man. But rather than have Dust Man's theme, they've chosen to throw in um that's uh that's Gutsman's theme. This man is weak to the flat barrier, apparently. We got the Dust Crusher. Fine rock monster, Yellow Devil. Let's try uh, Mega Man now.
<laughs> so I don't think I can proceed now. That's game over. You get three lives. Okay, guys, that was Mega Man the Power Battle. Next, let's return to Game Room. And let's show you the sequel and much better arcade game that came out later. The almost identically named Power Fighters. Which is the final game in Mega Man Anniversary Collection. Mega Man 2 The Power Fighters um, was a later arcade game, very obscure, even though it did get a localized version in North America, it's not a very common arcade machine at all. In fact, I have never once ever seen the arcade version of The Power Fighters. Power Battle I have, but Power Fighters? Nope. Never been to any arcade that ever had this game. Until Mega Man came onto the scene, and then Mega Man caused everything to go awry. That's just really word poorly worded. <laughs> Until Mega Man happened. But no, it was actually just this guy. So Mega Man 2 The Power Fighters is very similar to The Power Battle in that you can play as Mega Man, Proto Man, Base, and now you can play as Duo because this also includes Mega Man, um, this was, this was released in 97, same year as, as Mega Man 8. So choose your robot. I'm going to again go with uh, Proto Man here. Now there's, again, there's there's different robots you can choose. Let's uh, go with Rescue Roll. Robot Masters we can fight. Let's go after Slash Man. So one of the big differences between the Power Fighters and the Power Battle is the quality of the music. The soundtrack for this game is just really, really good. It features, you know, completely remixed um, versions of all of the Robot Master themes from all of the classic Mega Man games. Or, I'm sorry, um, all the Robot Masters that are in the game. And now you need to collect this stuff that gets dropped um, after you defeat enemies. All right, so I got Flash Claw. All right, let's go after you next, Shade Man. Let's go after uh, Stone Man. Again, Mega Man 5, very underrated.
So B here gives you um, various powers. For Proto Man, it's a shield. Power Stone. Alright, next let's go after Dive Man. Cutter. <laughs> Lastly, Electman.
Alright, lastly I get the Thunder Beam. Now it's Wily time. Dang it, come on, let me hit you. Oh, I got defeated. Alright, now I'm gonna go as base. Now it's Base versus Wily. Now, if you're a Mega Man fan, the ending of the Power of Fighters as base is really interesting.
Alright, so there's Mega Man The Power Fighters, released in 1997 in arcades. So, finally, I'm going to give my final thoughts on Mega Man Anniversary Collection for PS2. The PS2 version of Mega Man Anniversary Collection was released coinciding with the release of the GameCube version, and it was done by Atomic Planet. The game consists of ports of all of the old Mega Man games and two arcade games. The six Mega Man games for the NES were done um, up to the PlayStation 1 by Capcom in 99 in Japan called the Rockman Complete Works Set. Atomic Planet, who localized the game and did the PlayStation 2 version of, uh, of this game collection, uh, released this as kind of like a shoddy port of those versions of those, of those games. A lot of features were missing, um, such as the ability to play the game without a helmet, um, you know, customize the control options, have rumble feedback, you know, there was a number of things that were in the Japanese version of the Rockman Complete Works that weren't included in the Rockman, or included in Mega Man, uh, the power battle here, or, I'm sorry, and included in, uh, Mega Man Anniversary Collection here. In addition to that, Atomic Planet also screwed up a number of other things, such as the um, the music that's in the game. Sometimes it's sampled at a really low rate. Um, the music for 4, 5, and 6 especially, these games have weird issues in their audio. Um, it, it, if that weren't enough, there's also other problems with Mega Man 7. Um, Mega Man 7, uh, and sometimes the, the audio will, will have glitches, and sometimes, um, you know, there'll be weird compression things where the game won't, won't load music properly, sometimes it will stutter, and the game's only run in 480i. All of these issues. However, I don't think they're enough to hamper my real enjoyment of this game. Mega Man games are just fantastic, and, you know, Mega Man Anniversary Collection is better on the PlayStation 2 than it is on GameCube. The Xbox version of the game has many of the exact same flaws that the PlayStation 2 version has, and in fact it has some of its own. Um, but that version does actually run in 480p, so there's that. So, you know, once again guys, if you are going to pick up the classic Mega Man games, I totally would recommend picking up the PlayStation original Rockman Complete Works versions. Even though they're in Japanese, you can pick them up um, either in disc format, like on the actual discs, or you can get them on the PlayStation Network. You would need a Japanese account if you want to get um, Mega Man 5 and 6. I don't believe that... I think that only up to 4 were released on the North American account um, for PlayStation Network. But either way, you know, they're 600 yen a piece, and for that, you can't go wrong. So once again, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.